Hello guys, welcome to this video on the components of bridges. Bridges are complex structures that require careful design and construction to ensure safety and durability. In this video, we will discuss some of the key components of the bridge which includes the deck, pier and pier cap, piles and pile cap, foundations, abutments, bearing pad and expansion joint. We will discuss the components and their purposes and we will also discuss that which part or which component of the structure lie in superstructure and which component lie in the substructure of the bridge. So guys before we start our today's topic if you are new to my channel you are requested to please subscribe to it and don't forget to press the bell icon to get video updates. So let's get started. At first we have deck. The deck is the driving surface of the bridge and it's typically made of concrete or steel. The deck is designed to withstand the weight of vehicles and pedestrians as well as environmental factors like weather and traffic. The deck is the part of a bridge that accommodates and carries all traffic making it a critical component for a safe passage of vehicles and pedestrians. At second, we have superstructure. Superstructure is basically a part of a bridge which comprises few important components. As let us discuss what is superstructure. The superstructure refers to the components of the bridge that supports the deck such as beams, girders and arches. So these components basically lie in superstructures like beams or girders and arches are the part of superstructure. The superstructure is designed to transfer the weight of the deck and traffic to the substructure. As you guys see uh, this is superstructure which includes the girders or bridges and the deck of the bridge and in some cases we have arches on the bridge which is also a part of superstructure. At number third we have beam or girder. Girders or beams are integral parts of the superstructure and are responsible for bearing the deck. So the main responsibility of a beam or girder is to support the weight of the deck. Okay. As you can see over here, these are few examples of beams and girders. These structural elements bend along the span and provide essential support for the deck. At number four, we have substructures. So far now we have discussed the parts of superstructures which include the deck, beam or girders and arches. And on number 4 we have substructure. Substructure is defined as the components of the bridge that support the superstructure such as piers, abutments and foundations. So basically the piers, abutments and foundations are the part of substructure. The substructure is designed to transfer the weight of the bridge to the ground. As you can see over here in this picture, this is called as abutment and this is called as pier. Okay. And this is pier cave. We will discuss these components on upcoming slides. Okay. So these are the parts of substructures. As you can see over here, the pier is a part of substructure. Abutment is also the part of substructure. Okay. At number five, we have piers. Piers can be made of concrete, steel, or masonry, and they are designed to withstand the weight of the bridge and environmental factors. Piers are basically vertical supports that connect the superstructure to the substructure. As you can see over here in these pictures, these are called as piers. Okay. These vertical members are called as piers which supports the deck or superstructure which supports the parts of a superstructure it can be of different materials like concrete like masonry and steel or wood okay uh, as you can see over here this is abutment okay these are called as piers and on the other side we also have an abutment okay pier cap the pier cape, also known as the headstock, serves as the topmost part of a pier and is responsible for transferring loads from the superstructure to the pier. As you guys can see over here, this is pier, okay? And the 
structure our pier is called as pier cap it can be of different shapes okay this structure is called as pier as you can see over here and this is called as pier cap okay this is pier this structure is called as pier and this structure is called as pier cap okay it offers substantial seating for girders and facilitates the distribution of loads from the bearings to the piers abutments let us define the abutment abutments are the ends of the bridge that connect the superstructure to the approach roads as i have already told you this is the part of a substructure which is called as abutment which is basically on the edges of the road to connect the bridge with the roadways okay abutment can be made of concrete steel or masonry and they are designed to withstand the weight of the bridge and environmental factors on number 8 we have foundations foundations are the components of the bridge that transfer the weight of the bridge to the ground as you guys can see over here there are different types of foundations i have made a detailed video on different types of foundations for buildings and bridges if you want to learn about that simply click on the i button on the right top corner of this video or you can see the link in the description to clear your concepts about different types of foundations foundations can be shallow or deep depending on the type of the bridge and the soil conditions on number 9 we have pile and pile cap piles are cylinder structural members driven into the surrounding soil to resist various loads as you guys can see over here we have almost discussed the all parts of the bridge like this is beam or girder over here it is deck this is called as pier cap and this is called as pier okay then there is pile foundation as i have already discussed there are different types of foundations for a bridge okay so basically this is piles and this is called as pile foundation and this is pile cap okay the concrete structure just above the pile is called as pile cap and the concrete structure just above the pier is called as pier cap okay it's so simple pile caps thick reinforced concrete slabs are cast on top of group of piles as you can see over here here are a number of piles okay and pile cap is casted on top of group of piles to distribute the loads and provide a stable foundation effectively on number 10 we have bearings bearings are components that connect the superstructure to the substructure and allow for movement and rotation you guys must be familiar or have seen these type of black blocks under the bridges these are basically bearing pads okay their primary function is to allow controlled movement and reduce stresses on the bridge structure bearings can be made of steel rubber or other materials on number 11 we have expansion joints expansion joints are components that allow for movement and expansion of the bridge due to temperature changes and other environmental factors you guys must have seen these types of gaps between the bridges such gaps are called as expansion joints so guys that's all for today for similar videos and informative videos related to civil engineering you are requested to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get video updates that's all for today